what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we're jumping the latest episode of high q today is friday for me but i am having tr trouble with my google drive so i'm just cranking out reactions i don't know when you guys are gonna see this episode i i really don't know but whenever it comes out today is friday i'm reacting on the day just dropped a couple of days ago and um i know you guys you know you came out a couple of guys commented on some stuff that i said on the last reaction i knew that people were going to disagree with what i had to say um uh, you know about them being so shocked and stuff like that um and you know people are going to explain and stuff like that and it's not that i disagree with you guys about you know them being shocked but i'm telling you this from a competitive point of view you know in sports you don't get shocked about stuff like that you know two sets into the game if you know t two guys or three guys on the other team has talent it should not surprise you what they can do you get what i'm trying to say unless they do something oh my god so unexpected like him going down that low to do that set that was shocking even to me because the setter don't do that that's shocking but the whole exchange thing i think it happened sometime before in the episode where his brother set for him I, may, I might be mistaken but i think i remember that the other one set for i don't remember i, I can't tell him apart really other than the hair you know so i don't know which one really is utsumo <laughs> whatever like that's my fault it's not the show's fault it's my fault for being a little dumb when it comes on to names but in any case is what i'm trying to say is that it's just certain things that it's like it's like you seeing lebron it's like you going to a game and seeing lebron dunk and you're like oh my god i can't believe lebron can drunk can dunk breath <laughs> you know what i mean like at this point in lebron's career i should not be shocked that he can dunk you get what i'm saying now if he at age 35 put it through his leg put it put it through his leg and will mill windmills it it's a whole different story <laughs> you know what i'm saying but you guys you know you have you know you have a different feeling towards things than i do that that's all it is um so um so as i said i agree with you guys that they were shocked and they had all right to be shocked but it, i was just reacting in the moment to say that you know it's just like a trope in anime it's like every little thing is like you see shock face. <gasps> everybody is like you know what i'm saying like it's at this point two sets in two and a half sets in you know what I'm saying? Like, why is it still so surprising when these twins do anything? I don't know why. <laughs> it's just like, okay, they got us that point. Okay, they got us on that. It was surprising, but it wasn't to the point where 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 I would be like gasping. You know what I'm saying? Like, as you can see, it, you know, I be like, ooh, that's nice. You know, but it is what it is. Let's get to the episode. <laughs> Okay, let's get to the episode. I will see you guys for the review. All right, so that was high. I think that's season four, episode twenty, right, or twenty-one? One of the one of the two. But in any case, incredible episode. I like that episode very much. Um the level ups it's the end of the match the last point they need to get and it's it's going to be a challenge it's going to be a challenge the two teams showing absolute respect for each other you know big twin over there um showing respect for kageyama because he's like where did goody two shoes go um you know but kageyama was never a goody two shoes it's just sometimes you meet people you know what i'm saying Sometimes you meet people and and you might have this perception of them, which is not not their entire personality. And I think it's very easy to misjudge somebody like Kageyama for the reasons, for for, for no other reasons than 
he's he's just the type of player that he's a genius at things but stupid at other things so it's very hard to pin his his personality down because there's certain things about him you would think that Kageyama is a good at two shoes like you feel like he does everything perfectly and you know what I'm saying or he's he's a kiss ass he's none of those things you know what I'm saying um, it took him a while to kind of acknowledge his, his faults and stuff like that and he tries to do better and that's the thing about him is like because he tries to do better his teammates realizing that he's trying to do better they they um they encourage it they encourage it and sometimes you need somebody like Kageyama on a team because it's a guy that he doesn't mince the truth like the other like the captain of the other team like they don't mince the truth with you they just go they just go in you know what i'm saying and you could see certain things because at first you might think that dude you know the captain of the other team you might think that he's a robot you know what i'm saying very monotone kind of dude you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day he did show emotion and even though he you know explained and he was speaking facts you know he still apologized at the end for going on for so long so there's certain things that you can that you can per, uh, have a perception about a certain person and perceive them to be a certain way and then you realize oh crap there's so much more to them so i like that they explore that aspect of it um of course this is the final point series so i don't know how it's gonna go down but i'm hoping for an epic moment the thing that stands out the most to me about this episode was the fact that so many of the other schools that karasuna has beat are watching their game and cheering for them so that was pretty cool i was a little bit you know you know what i'm saying he was a little bit like I don't want to be cheering for these dudes, but he, he, the thing about sports is you can't help but cheer for the person that beats you. You get what I'm saying? A lot of times in sports, that's what that's what happens. You know, if he, the thing about it is that you want the, the the team that beats you to win all the way, because if they don't win all the way, that simply means that there's two teams better than you. You know what I'm saying? Or more. So you always want the team that beats you to go all the way and win because you'd be like, oh crap, they won, but at least we know we just got to get better than them. But if that team loses that beats you, you know what I'm saying? You know, you got a whole long, long, long way to go. You know, we all know that Karasuno is the best team in the prefecture right now. Um, you know what I'm saying? Shirato is our, um, Seijo, um, Date Tech, those schools are all looking up to Karasuno. Those schools, I'm not talking about Shirato Izawa mainly, but because they're in, they they went to nationals too. So the teams that that went to nationals and you know they're dominating. You want that team that beat you to win. So I think that's what's happening here with them cheering for them and be like, don't give up, you know keep going the game is not over because they understand these guys they they've played against them and they understand that these guys are nothing to play with they will fight till the bitter end to pull out a win so they have to show that respect and i'm glad that they kind of highlight that in this episode it was an excellent episode thank you guys so much for tuning in as always as i said i don't know when you guys are going to see this episode but when you do don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to comment it's your boy terabyte reacts and i'm out